What's up guys, Donovan here, Martial Arts Business Made Easy. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering the five martial arts facility design do's and don'ts. All right, let's jump in. So take your brand and business serious, right? Something my staff can hear me say all the time is have a high give a shit factor. Actually care, care about the details, care about the experience because how we do anything is how we do everything, right? So think about this, personally, what brands do you enjoy shopping with and why do you like to frequent those brands? It's probably because of not only the product, but also the experience that you have, right? What high-end brands do your customers shop at and what's that experience like? Once we can identify why they like shopping there, what that experience is, we can simply replicate that at our own facilities and then hopefully encourage them to continue shopping with us, right? We wanna replicate the feelings and experiences of high-end businesses. So if you think about uh, Range Rover, Mercedes, Aston Martin, right? What's the experience like? What type of trash cans do they use? What type of chairs do they have? Tables? Uh, what are the uh, salesmen dressed like, right? We wanna, uh, if we act small, we're gonna stay small. But if we act big and treat our business like a big business and become professional, our business will simply get bigger. All right, you only get one shot at a first impression. We've heard that our, our entire life and it's true. When someone walks through that door, they're going to immediately judge your business. And we wanna make sure that we have a favorable image in their eyes. Professional brands have a professional look and feel. All right, so let's talk about colors here. You wanna use the same two to three colors throughout your entire facility. All right, so your walls, flyers, etc. everything should have the same color code and fonts. So if you look at our facility here, this is one of our locations. Uh, our base colors are red, white, and black, all right? So again, you wanna have typically one bright accent color that stands out for us, that's red, and then the other colors are gonna be neutral. So whites, blacks, grays, things like that. Um, but going one step further, don't just think that, hey, my color is red, because there's different shades of red, right? We wanna to try to, when we can, we wanna to try to keep it the same color code all the time and then same thing with your fonts so if you have stickers on the wall if you have flyers that you're doing social media posts try to keep everything in the same font we want everything to be congru congruent at all times all right seating so avoid using folding chairs to make your business look more professional right we don't want to have things that look temporary like folding chairs i don't know any expensive brand that you've ever been to i've personally never been to one that had folding chairs right? We want things that look permanent. Permanent chairs and benches are great options that will not break the bank. So if you see here in our Kids That Win Academy location, uh, the black benches there, we have those built at all of our facilities. Uh, we touch them up every year with paint if we need to, uh, but honestly, they're pretty sturdy and they hold up really well. The good thing about benches is not only do you provide seating for your students and parents, but you also have storage now for shoes, bags, jackets, hoodies, things like that. Okay, so uh, we pers personally prefer the benches just because it saves a lot of space, uh, but you can also use chairs as well. So smell, all right? The days of having martial arts schools uh, that smell like a foot are beyond us, hopefully, right? Hopefully your school does not smell like a foot. You wanna install wall-mounted scent diffusers throughout your entire facility. So they have the ones that plug into the wall. The challenge with those is if someone bumps into it, they could spill the oil and then it gets all over the place and you gotta clean it. Or if you don't replace those on a regular basis, they can actually burn out and have been known to cause fires. So what we do is get the wall mounted ones that are up in the, uh, that, that we mount up close to the ceiling so no one's really touching them. And then we just simply replace the batteries or the scents as needed. You can get these at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Um, another, going one step further, you can install a professional essential oil diffuser in your facility to replicate that big box gym atmosphere. So if you think about it, if you've ever been to a Marriott, for example, all Marriott's smell the same. You go to Target, they all smell the same. You go to Walmart, it all smells the same, right? That's not uh, by accident, that's actually by design. They have professional diffusers uh, in their facilities that make them smell that way. Okay, so again, we want to replicate the smell. If you have multiple locations, something definitely look into. But even if you have one location, we want to make sure that it's a pleasant smell when the consumer walks in. All right, so music here. Have a Bluetooth music system that plays music from the time you open until the time you close. I know there's a lot of people in our industry that are not fans of having music during classes. All right, we're not here to make that argument. Uh, but what we look at, again, is going back to where our consumers shop. Where do our customers and students shop at? For us, a lot of them shop at Target. Right? And if you go to Target, there's always music playing. So in our facilities, from the time we open to the time we close, it's part of the opening checklist and the closing checklist. We will have music playing throughout the entire time. And then during classes, obviously the, the tone of the music is gonna be much higher. We use an Apple Watch to control the music settings during class. So originally when we did this, we would just use our phones to control the music. But again, optically, from a parent sitting down on those benches, looking at class, 
even though the instructor is changing the music, the parent might think this person's on their phone, right? Checking Facebook or Instagram, and we just don't want that optically. So we have all head instructors use an Apple Watch to control music settings during class times. We used to use uh, professional like Sonos systems. The challenge we face with those is once they break, uh, typically you have to replace the entire system, and they're a lot more expensive. You can get this Sony speaker right here for about two to $300. Uh, it's actually large in real life. It's probably about three feet high. The cool thing about this is it has a great sound. It has a lot of bass, but it is portable. So if you're doing a demo or you're doing a picnic or you're doing a parade, you can take this with you, and then you have your music playing everywhere you go. All right, cleaning. Again, first impressions matter. So clean, mop, dust, everything is done daily. And we use a cleaning checklist to ensure everything gets done. So at the end of the day, everything gets cleaned throughout the entire day, when, whether it's summer camp, after school, or martial arts classes, we are doing spot checks every hour on the hour. Uh, but the next morning when the staff comes in, the first thing they do on the opening checklist is make sure that the facility is clean and in working order. So if it didn't get done, then we're gonna talk to the night staff. All right, and again, our rule, if it has a surface, it gets wiped down every single day. All right, one bonus tip for you here, attire and greetings. All right, have all of your staff on brand while at your facility. So for us, that's t-shirts, polos, and jackets. We can easily identify who is an actual staff member. And then going one step further, name tags and ID tags. This works really well for summer camp staff or for after school staff. We wanna have a parent be able to walk in and quickly identify who they need to speak to um, if they need to talk to a manager. And then ensure every person that walks in is greeted with a smile and a nice tone to welcome. Right? Every person that walks in our facilities gets greeted, and preferably by name, whether that's the student or the parent, hopefully both. We want to greet everyone with a smile and welcome them into our facility and let them know that we're glad they're there. And just remember, we are not just teaching martial arts. We're providing an experience for our members, an experience that hopefully they want to come back to again and again. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comment below. Happy to help.